Okay, we shall discuss about the metallurgical operations in detail. In the last video, we have seen the concentration of the ores. Various methods used in concentration was discussed there. Today, we will be discussing about what is the next step involved in metallurgical operations. The second step involved is known as conversion of the ore into its oxide. Today, we shall discuss about extraction of crude metal from the concentrated ore. What do you understand by crude metal? The impure metal is known as crude metal. So we, in the last class, we have learned how to concentrate the ore. Now, the concentrated ore is subjected to two different steps. First step is conversion of the concentrated ore into its oxide. And the second step is reduction of the ore into its crude form. First we will see what is conversion of concentrated ore into its oxide. The concentrated ore is taken and is subjected to either roasting or calcination. How to choose the method? That depends upon what type of oxide you have. Suppose you are having the uh, uh, compounds or the O's. Suppose we are having the O's like sulfide O's. Sulfide O's doesn't contain any oxygen in it. So such compounds are to be heated in the presence of air well below its melting point. So on heating it in the presence of air, it will be converted to its corresponding oxide. So this is mainly done for sulfide ores. So I have taken the examples of zinc sulfide. Zinc sulfide on reaction with air. So on burning in air, you find that it reacts with oxygen and it will be converted to zinc oxide liberating sulfur dioxide. So you have converted the sulfide ore into its oxide. Same way when lead sulfide is subjected to roasting you find that it is heated in the presence of air when it gets converted to lead oxide and sulfur dioxide. Now cook press sulfide when it reacts with oxygen it will be converted to cuprous oxide and sulfur dioxide hope it is clear so all the cases you have to balance the equation 2zns plus 3o2 giving 2zno plus 2 sulfur dioxide same way Lead sulfide will give the reaction 2 PBS plus 3O2 on heating gives 2 PBO plus 2 SO2. 2 Cu2S plus 3O2 giving 2 Cu2O plus 2 SO2. If the concentrated ore is of carbonate ore, here you find that heating is done in the absence of air to remove the volatile impurities and the carbon dioxide present in it. So that process we call it as calcination. Calcination means heating the compound in the absence of air or limited supply of air wherein all the volatile impurities are removed from the compound. So suppose if it, you are taking Fe2O3 XH2O on heating you find that it will remove the volatile impurity that is water is removed and you get Fe2O3 plus XH2O. Hope it is clear. Now if you take the compound 
ZnCO3 zinc carbonate on calcination you find that it will be converted to ZnO plus CO2 so CO2 is removed from the compound now calcium carbonate magnesium carbonate mixture if taken it will be converted to calcium oxide magnesium oxide and carbon dioxide 